The launch took place at the National Youth Council in Ventuk, where Nanso President Simon Tapopi told the media the food to be distributed was donated by the business community and Nanso members who preferred to remain anonymous. The organization did not reveal how much was spent on the food parcels, which among others contain macaroni, maize meal, sugar and cooking oil. Tapopi said the food will first be distributed to about 300 students in the Commerce region. Erongo will be next before going to the northern regions and then Omaheke. The food parcels will be dropped off at students' residence. The Nanso president said they'll concentrate more on regions with a high population of students where there are institutions of higher learning and international students who are studying in Namibia who could not travel back to their countries of origin because Namibian borders are closed. We hope to distribute to those learners from childhood, childhood households. We've got a quite number of them who are, who are um, heading households. There, there are no parents or guardians at home, and they might have been overlooked by other programs that are there through either by government or by other NGOs because most of them are focusing on households, and they might have neglected the childhood households. Um, we are also in the same vein... Um, um, donating to to um, students, international students, who couldn't fly back to their um, area, uh, countries of origin based on the they couldn't afford the tickets, also the borders are closed, and they are here in the hostels, um, and we they, they, they are suffering with, with food items. He added that pupils who benefited from the school feeding program will also be considered. Joseph Simeon, Nampa News.